How is it going everyone? It is Heaven's Mouthpiece back again and I have been on a little bit of a Murakami binge and today I will be reviewing Hear the Wind Sing by Haruki Murakami. Now that I'm done subjecting that horrifically loud music, it's time to go over this horrific read. But really it wasn't that bad. Uh, you guys know I like to keep it short with you and give you what you came here for. Out of 10, I would give this book a 3.5. So the story here is super similar to a lot of other Burner Kami books that we've read before. We see many of the same themes like jazz, drinking, and poorly written women, but this time there's not much of a story. It's his first novel and you can really tell that he's developing as a writer. This novel was Murakami's first and also the first in the Rat series, which I think is a trilogy, maybe a tetralogy. I'll get back to you with that one. The real reason that I wanted to read this book was to learn a little bit more about the rat in this rat series. Now, we don't get that much information, and given this was Murakami's first book, I don't think he was really intending to write a whole series about it, it kind of just came out of thin air. The best way that I can put this book is a guy going about his regular life who's not super interesting, but there's a lot of Murakami vibes, like I said earlier, jazz, drinking, poorly written women. And like any Murakami book, the woman reveals something to the main character about themselves. And in this book, unlike some of the others, it's basically meaningless and didn't mean that much to me or to anyone. I don't really think there was much thematical composure to that. I think I just said thematical composure. I don't know what that means, but what I'm really trying to say is I don't think there's too much behind this story of his. Now, what was really good about the story was how easy it was to read, unlike understanding what the medical composure means. You can definitely tell that whoever's writing the story has some skills, but they just haven't gotten much of an idea of what to do with them, per se. Now, some of the highlights for me, personally, were some more relatable aspects of the novel, like just drinking with your friends at the bar, or having your friend ask you to come on like a fancy date and all of a sudden, out of thin air, it's just no longer happening and he never explains it to you. Some of those funny, relatable moments in life were reflected in this book, and while none of that really had any overall meaning, it was still kind of fun to read. Now, overall, I wouldn't recommend this book to a friend. I really only read it because I wanted to know more, more about the series, and especially if you're just getting into Murakami, this is not the book for you. Even Murakami himself says that he doesn't really take ownership of this work, and it was just kind of a starting point. Nonetheless, I'm still looking forward to reading some more Murakami books and many others as well. So if you could drop any that you recommend in the comments, I'd really appreciate that and I will probably actually do a review on them. I don't have that many people commenting on these videos and interacting with me, so whatever you guys want, I'm gonna do. So make sure you comment below. Also, if you don't mind, please hit the like and subscribe to me. It really keeps me motivated to keep making more of these videos. That's all I have for you today. Come back for more reviews. We got one coming on Dune shortly. So I'll see you next time.